People who suffer catastrophic breaks to their long leg bones usually face multiple surgeries and all too often amputation. Scientists at the University of Arizona have been working for more than 20 years to improve the treatment protocol for that. Ursula Perry reports they're using a patient's own fat and 3D printing to regrow long bones. Good job. Judith Burrell broke her leg when an ATV rolled on her a year ago. That's like it was a big chunk of my bone. And it was my tibia bone. Her doctors used her bone and marrow to fix the break. But Judith ended her plans to go into the military, believing her leg wouldn't support her in training. You can see the sensors that have been attached to the scaffold. Okay, now I'm going to look at it. University of Arizona researchers are developing a way to fix broken long bones with stem cells, a 3D printed scaffold, and a sensor to monitor exercise that helps bones heal. If we can fill our scaffold with these cells, the bone will start to form throughout the length of that scaffold. Stem cells are multiplied in a lab and run with calcium particles through the scaffold between the bone ends. A rod holds it in place for six to nine months. The bone grows then in and around the scaffold. Lately, we have been successful with removing all of the supporting hardware and showing that the bone that we're regrowing is actually functional tissue that does not need any additional orthopedic hardware in order to function. This work is funded by a $2 million grant from the Defense Department. We believe that using this type of an approach could regrow the bones for these soldiers and they would then be able to return to active military service. Researchers are going to report the results of what they've learned so far in tests with sheep, then they'll move on to people and conduct a test involving about 10 people at Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.